Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about certificates. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, what certificates would you recommend to a new programmer before they apply for their first job? I don't have a degree, so certificates would mean something for a junior level position. I have looked at your LinkedIn profile and I saw that you had CS50 listed. I completed a Java Nano degree at Udacity, it took me about 20 days, and I'm planning to take the CS50 course from edX. I'm mostly a backend guy and I can see myself in the future creating APIs and microservices in Java or Go. The part I enjoy the most is optimizing high availability and junior optimizing high availability and junior data data and persistence layer type of stuff and queries. I also have some competitive programming experience a shitty rating though. Thanks in advance. Well, uh, I can very warmly recommend the CS50 course. It's a very good one. I it was quite a while since I took it, but it's it's a good one. It's a very good one. Uh, usually, when it comes to certificates, uh, the there is a certain like ideally you want to go for the high brand stuff, like the the high value stuff, because branding guys it matters in IT. It's just, it matters everywhere literally everywhere. If you have a prestigious whatever, like if a well-known brand on your CV, it's going to matter more than if you have something unknown. So that's the, like, because the thing is, I can't really give you specific certificates because at the end of the day, mo every company is going to be different. Some companies are going to go, you know, uh, we only hire people who have a uh, a college education and uh, we will only hire people who went to a specific college everybody's kind of different in terms of their requirements and some companies are kind of go uh, they're gonna go oh yeah we, if you just know how to code and we can see that you you're pretty serious about the thing that it doesn't really matter what you did before like just let's let's try it out right so it's a it's a little bit of a mixed bag uh, when you're trying to get your first job so any certificate will do as long as it's real solid proof that you have some serious coding experience. And the thing that you should be looking more at rather than the specific certificate is, oh, I mean, of course, if you can get something from, I don't know, Harvard or MIT or whatever, a certificate that has some type of brand recognition, that's definitely a good bet. But the most important thing is the length. The, the duration that you've spent. So your Udacity nano degree of 20 days in Java, like 20 days guys, in IT that's that's nothing. It's I, I, I'm not saying that you didn't put your heart and soul into it. Uh, I, I completely respect the skill and the dedication it took to get through those 20 days. But for someone who's hiring a, a developer for a serious software development job, 20 days is not that much experience. Uh, usually the thing that people who are recruiting software developers like to see is degrees or education that is measured in years. I know that's not what you want to hear because there's quite a lot of boot camps out there who wants you to believe that you're a made developer after just a, a few months. And I'm sorry to say that that's just not the case. You are not an experienced or even semi-experienced developer after just a few months of work or you know, practice, especially when it's not at, an, at a non-professional level because at the, uh, the the stuff that you're learning in the boot camps are not going to be professional grade software development. It's going to be preparation for that sort of work. So what you're looking for is usually the the degrees that are going to take a little bit longer, the ones that are going to be like a full course. And ideally, you want to get as close as possible to a full computer science type of degree. I'm not saying that you have to be academic about the whole thing. I'm saying that there are you really need to figure out what the core skills of whatever type of development you want to do what what what's that what is that about and then when you can answer that question what what are the skills then you can start formulating your own portfolio of courses and as i said try to go for the duration try to take the longer ones that actually give you some meat on your cv because that's the thing that most of the companies who are hiring that that's what they're going to look at they're going to look at the time investment that you have made into your craft. 
that's one, one of the first things that you're going to look at. The second thing is the relevancy of the thing that you've been studying. So an example would be if you wanted to be a full stack web developer, investing in a course that very, like a fairly, fairly long duration type of course that, foc uh, that has a heavy emphasis on CSS, HTML, JavaScript, and some type of backend language with a database or something like that. These are good bets because that is the su stuff that most web developers, as an example, are doing on a daily basis. It's not the only thing that you could pick from. I'm just saying that 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 then if you do that for quite some time, usually it's going. I I would say that about a year is a good it's a good minimum to think about then you're in this range of where most companies are going to go well we could consider this person because it's uh, it's going to it's going to make them feel at ease a uh, lot more at ease than if you just have a few like if you have a few months or something like that because i i know that it might seem weird but guys the the process of learning how to do serious software development you're just starting your journey even after a few years of work you're going to just be in the beginning of what you need to learn the average time it takes you to get re a decent fairly good is going to be between one to five years depending on how your aptitude and depending on a, lo a lot of different factors but for you to be even capable of claiming that you're a mid-level or a senior developer we're not talking a few months here we're talking at the minimum i would say a year and more likely two or three than a year depending on as i said how much like what is your aptitude and how much are you investing so what i want you to take away from this is that i can't give i i don't think it's productive for me to give you specific courses about this or that because there's just so many that you could pick from. The th rule of thumb I want to give you is that the first thing that matters is the length of the courses are these serious courses. Is that if it's 20 days that doesn't really, like you put, of course, put it on your CV because anything that you can add there is going to be something that, pr that adds value. But usually the thing that people are looking for when you're they're, they're looking for junior developers is the time that you have put in. So try to to prioritize the courses that are a little bit longer and more serious on topics which is the second thing that are relevant to the actual work and if you're unsure about the sort of work that a web developer does or an embedded systems developer or a data scientist or whatever you're trying to be go and talk to some people see what they're like you look at see what, what they are recommending and try to figure out what are the tools of the trade and try to really focus on that stuff because the better you get at figuring out what the relevant tools are and then of course getting knowledge within those tools and those practices and getting that on paper because getting it on paper is a really important part of getting you that first job the more likely you are to set yourself up for success when you present that cv to a future employer have a great day